Wait, this has nothing to do with a car show, and well, neither does a mariachi band. Oh, May Fiesta, car show, downtown Mineola, May, not 5th, but 6th. There were really cool trucks and hopped up fantastic cars, as well as some really cool Corvettes and JDMs, like this Nissan 370Z, and there were also some champions. Let's get into this Road Odyssey video, and if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. And if you're on Rumble, please follow. Here we go. The May Fiesta Car Show, downtown Mineola, May 6th, had all kinds of good classes. Uh, it was just a really good car show. But you ask me, where is Mineola? Well, East Texas. So in the crosshairs of Highway 69 and 80. This car event, as posted on Facebook, was led up by Kirk, a fantastic guy, and he has East Texas car shows only. Monitor this Facebook page for upcoming shows. Let's give a big thanks to Kirk as well as Mini Ola as a city. And also thank you for those members from Corvettes Coast to Coast who helped, uh, well, put this car show together and get it run. Thank you all. Several wonderful categories, lots of great prizes, and a plethora of awards. All the money going to the Chamber of Commerce and to charity. That's it. And, hey, what's not to like about winning a huge award? You know what else was great? Connie Sue Crawford of the Celeste Car Motorcycle Cruise Inn. You know what? She got the kids involved. So here are two of the magnificent little vehicles that were entered into the show. And here's Connie Sue herself relaxing. Now, the awards did go out to the kids. And I really think they enjoyed it a lot. That was just wonderful. I need all participants to listen. I'm gonna point at your car. You better put on your best bass music. I'll point at the next car. Keep yours on. If he beats you, you're out. Well, if you could hear what Kirk had to say, there was a stereo system sound off to see who had the loudest system. And as everybody voted from one car to the other, they ended up voting for the Jeep in the corner. It was loud. <laughs> so uh, it, it was just, it hit the highs and the lows and it just really struck everybody as being the best stereo system there as far as we could hear. This being part one of a two-part series, I'm gonna finish all of this out with nothing but Corvettes. Although after my outro, I've got a little bit relative to my GR86 and a GT500 just hanging out together. So just a little bit of fun to end this up with. But here we go with more Corvettes. Now, this is an 82 Corvette. It went to a dealership in Rawls, Texas. It has a 5.7 liter or 350 cubic inch engine, 24 gallon fuel tank, radio, dual front speakers, dual sport mirrors, uh, four speed automatic. There you go. That's something that's important. Uh, overdrive transmission, uh, just all kinds of goodies on this car. Hey, even a fixed mast antenna. Removable roof panels. Now that's cool. So just a really neat car. Uh, the total price for this was $21,528.59. The options were $2,763.52. Destination charge, $475. So a really neat car. 
and hope you enjoyed looking it over. There were five Corvette Coast to Coast members that took their cars to the show. Uh, since they were help organizing and maintaining the car show, they did not enter their cars into the show. Isn't that refreshing? But let's look at them one by one. This is Brian's Yellow Grand Sport, not only a member of Corvette's Coast to Coast, but also has the Yellow Jacket Garage YouTube channel. Please check it out. I was just going to play music over this car, but this poor guy had uh, a encounter with a deer that uh, took away the hood, the front headlights, and just almost tore up the top of the car, but... Uh, it's a rather interesting story, more so for the uh, people in the car as opposed to the poor deer. Uh, so anyway, maybe more on this story later. This quaint and lovely little C7 Corvette might possibly be named the Evil Queen, or Bad Girls Are More Fun, or Lord Knows. But uh, once upon a time, it was a regular... C7 Corvette. Now it is a cool little show machine. <laughs> so pretty nice car. Hope you enjoy looking at it. A supercharged base model C6 Corvette looks pretty dangerous. I'm sure it can fly down the road in a straight line. I would hate to try to keep this thing on the ground, uh, but it would be fun to try at least once. Now, I too am a member of Corvette's Coast to Coast, and I did judge a few cars at the Mineola show, but I did not take my C8 Corvette. Instead, I took my GR86, uh, of which you'll see more of in a second here. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this Road Odyssey video. I really appreciate it. And if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. And if you are on Rumble, please follow. Now, a little bit more. Yep, it was really hot and I got sunburned while out there. But you know what? Met up with this GT500 marvelous car owned by Steve. Uh, the famous Steve and Cindy from Sulphur Springs. And we pulled into this Dairy Queen, had us a nice lunch, 
And uh, you know what? Got a couple of pictures. Have a fantastic day. See you later. All right, I'm ready for my airdrops to die. <laughs>